Okay, um, a few weeks ago, um, when I did the last presentation, and I said that we would talk a little bit about the herbs um, on the next time around. And so this is a picture of at the Lifestyle Center in Beehive, um, some of the herb jars that were um, Sister Ziesmer had put together. And we're gonna talk about a few of those. <coughs> now I know a lot of you have heard about chamomile, so it's not, so we're gonna learn a little bit more. Considered by some to be a cure-all, chamomile is commonly used in the US for anxiety and relaxation. It is used in Europe for wound healing and to reduce inflammation or swelling. Few studies have looked at how well it works for any condition, but chamomile is used as a tea or applied as a compress. It is considered safe by the FDA. It may increase drowsiness, which is kind of good when you want to go to sleep at night, um, caused by medicines or other herbs or supplements. Chamomile may interfere with the way the body uses some medicines, causing too high a level of the medicine in some people. So we just always have to be careful of whatever medicines that you're taking um, and when, when you're also taking herbs. Chamomile for the skin, put it on topically, may be used to treat skin irritation from radiation from uh, cancer treatments. Chamomile in capsule form may be used to control vomiting even during chemotherapy. Echinacea, I'm sure we've heard about that. It's good for this and that. People take that a lot. Echinacea is commonly used to treat or prevent colds, flus, and infections, and for wound healing. Many studies have looked at how well echinacea works to prevent or shorten the course of a cold. But now we're conclusive, but we, you know, it's still good. I've heard many good things about um, echinacea and what it does. Some studies do show some benefit of using echinacea for upper respiratory infections. On uh, short, short term use is advised because other studies have also been shown that long term use can affect the body's immune system. Always check with your healthcare provider about any interactions with medicines that you already are taking. Now, people. Um, uh, who are allergic to plants in the daisy family may be more likely to have an allergic reaction to echinacea. The daisy family includes ragweed, chrysanthemums, marigolds, and daisies. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Comfrey. Comfrey is sometimes used on the skin to treat wounds and reduce inflammation. Uh, from sprains and broken bones. Comfrey roots and leaves contain allotone, a substance that helps new skin cells grow, along with other substances that reduce inflammation and keep skin healthy. Comfrey ointments have been used to heal bruises as well as pulled muscles and ligaments, fractures, sprains, strains, and osteoarthritis. Now, while we were there at um, Lifestyle Center in, in uh, West Virginia, and uh, Sister Ziesmer had me to give my testimony that Sabbath about you know what was going on with me. And um, so um, when we had our, um, went for our Vesper, when we went to a, a, a person's home and gathered together, uh, there was a young lady there that actually grew comfrey. She said it just grew wild in her backyard. And she made ointment out of it. This is what she brought me, a whole jar of homemade comfrey. And so um, she said that her mother had had a broken hip and she used comfrey on there. So she just told me to put a little essential oil in there, mix it, and rub it. So um, I actually had had some comfrey at home, but didn't realize that it was the same thing. I know it was something com combined, but um, so I have been using the comfrey, and it's been very helpful. Sage, excellent for sore throat, cough, and colds recognized in Germany as a treatment for excessive sweating. 
Studies show it can help reduce menopausal hot flashes and night sweats. Now, some of the concerns, you do not use, do not use therapeutic doses um, during pregnancy and do not use sage essential oil internally. Mullen. Historically, it's used to relieve irritating, dry, or painful coughs, sore throat, and chest congestion. Steeped in oil, the flowers relieve earache. You can make ear drops from, from the flowers, and it kind of tells you a little bit about how, but, um, and look, there's no known concerns, so use it. <laughs> Next we have, I can get my pages turned here. Nettle. Fresh or freeze-dried leaves relieved seasonal allergy symptoms. We are in that season now, right? Symptoms in one human trial. Research supports use of the root for easing symptoms of enlarged prostate. Tea widely recommended for its nutritive value. Um, one of concern when you're using it straight to make sure you wear gloves when handling fresh nettle to avoid stinging and irritation. And irritation. So, and then once you um, um, cook it or dry it out, then it's a very safe herb to use. Rosemary is a rich source of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds, which are thought to help boost the immune system and improve blood circulation. Rosemary is considered a cognitive stimulant and can help improve memory. How many of us can use that, right? Performance and quality. It is also known to boost alertness, intelligence, and focus. Now, the little hair growth tip. Now, I'll show you when on the very last slide, um, Sister Ziesmer actually had a, a hair growth um, herb that she had combined, and it was with rosemary, sage, and nettle. And I believe, if I'm correct, um, Teresa, it, uh, she talked about how it, you could use it as a conditioner, right, when you wash and then you use the hair growth. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. So what does the spirit of prophe uh, prophecy say? Every person should have a knowledge of nature's rem remedial agencies and how to apply them. It is essential both to understand the principles involved in the treatment of the sick and to have a practical training that will enable one rightly to use this knowledge. Pure air, sunlight, abstemiousness, rest, exercise, proper diet, the use of water, trust in divine power. These are the true remedies. Natural means used in accordance with God's will bring about supernatural results. We ask for a miracle and the Lord directs the mind to some simple remedy. So simple natural remedies, the use of of certain herbs that the Lord has made to grow for the good of man is in harmony with the exercise of faith. And see the very one on the on your on our left, it says hair, hair growth tea. And so, um, and so most of these I tried to get it blown up enough to where you could see some of them, but um, these are all healthy, good, natural remedies. And she gave us like a double-sided list of six pages of various herbs that we could use in, and utilize. So um, try them and um, allow the Lord to work his miracle in you. Thank you.